Okay, these are the three roll shots you need to master. And I'm going to show you the difference between the three. The short roll shot, the deep roll shot to the back line, whether it's jumbo or high line, from the right side, for example, or hard driven. Okay, And once you master these, the mechanics for these three shots, you can control where you hit it by hitting the side of the ball, which part of the ball you hit. Right? If you're going to hit straight, you hit the back of the ball. If you want to hit cut, hard cut from the right side to the left, you hit the side of the ball. So you can control whatever direction you want to hit it just by where you hit on the ball, but the mechanics will be the same, okay? So let's watch this. So you see where my starting point is, right? My fingers point up, my elbows down, my hands by my ear, okay? So these are all the things I talk about. So for this shot, I'm going to start with yellow, okay? So here's, here's the path of my hand. That's impact, okay? And that's where my hand goes after. And you see my fingers kind of go a little bit forward. You see as my fingers are going forward? Just helps to get the overspin, helps to get the ball going forward. Okay, but look, my arm path, it just basically goes straight up, right? You see that? The path just goes straight up, pretty much. Okay? In fact, wait, let me go there. Right, and that's it. Okay, so that's the first shot, short roll shot. I did this from further off the net. You know, you should be able to hit this from right on the net and hit it right over the top of the net and very short. Okay, so um, I hit this from off the net, and learning how to hit it from off the net and hitting it just roll just over the right over the net is really valuable. Like that's going to be a shot that can score you a lot of points when you're off the net. Okay, and if you look at this, okay. I want you to understand too, like what's my finish look like, right? I hold my finish, look at my finish, it's straight up, straight up, right, to hit this shot, okay? And my arm is extended, fully extended, okay? So that's that shot. Each shot I'm gonna draw with different colors so you can see the difference, okay? Now let's go to the next one. Okay, now this is uh, the same roll shot, high roll shot to the back line, right? So it's a jumbo or a high line shot from the right side or whatever, right? It's a, it's a high jumbo shot to the back line, basically. Okay. So because I have to hit it a little bit further, right? I need to have a little bit more power behind it. My hand is a little bit more behind my ear than it was on the previous shot, right? And my elbow's a little bit further back. My body's a little bit more open. See that? Okay. Now, watch this. That's my starting point, right? Okay. Go. There. Okay, there's impact, right? Okay, my arm is bent at impact, okay? I want you to take note of something. We'll, we'll come back to it, but anyway. Okay, there's my hand. There's my hand. There's my hand, okay. So, you can see the difference. This one has a slightly forward breaking wave. Slightly, right? So, but if you look at it, see how my, see the angle of my arm here? Remember the other one, my arm was, I held my finish, it was straight up. Oops, excuse me, let's go back here. This one, my arm is forward, why? Because I have to hit the ball deep in the court. So if my arm just goes straight up, I'm not gonna get much horizontal distance on it. So I have to go forward, okay? What I want you to understand too here is, Where's my contact point? Look where my contact point is. Right? Look how far past contact I drive my hand. This is crucial if you want to hit it to the back line. 
If I hit the ball here, for example, I would not reach the back line because I don't have enough momentum to push the ball to the back line. But I have, so if I hit it where I hit it, which is here, I can drive, 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 way past the ball, and that makes it easy for me to reach the back line. Okay? So let's look, let me draw this line so you can see the difference in the wave. So this wave goes like this. Sorry. Let's undo that, bring that back down. So this wave goes like this. Okay? So you can see it has it's a it's not a it's not a it's a high breaking wave. It's not breaking forward a lot. Okay? So that is more of the high deep rule shot. Now let's move on to the next one. Okay, now this one's going to be a hard driven roll shot, which in my opinion, if you're undersized, this should be your hit. You shouldn't be trying to hit the ball with a classic volleyball swing if you're undersized. And undersized means if your hand's not eight inches above the net, you're undersized when you jump. Eight inches, right? Nine inches above the net. Because the ball is like eight or nine inches in diameter. If you're not at least that much higher over the net, then there's no way you can hit the ball hard with a classic volleyball swing and keep it in the court. You'd have to hit it soft. Okay? So if you can learn to hit this shot instead, you can actually hit the ball with more speed and keep it in the court because it's going to have way more overspin. Okay? So my philosophy is if you're undersized, this next shot is the shot you should use as a hit instead of trying to swing the ball. Okay? But let's look at it. So I'm gonna go with, uh, let's go with white circles for this one, okay? So here we go, toss it up. And, and I'm moving and I'm tossing to different spots, so the, the origin point is gonna be you know, slightly different because I'm tossing whatever. But you can see again here, my left, my right elbow is behind my body. My body's kind of rotated to the right a little bit, okay? And my hand starts here, right? So let's see what happens. And my hand goes to the... There. And it goes to there. And it goes to there. Then this is where contact was. Right? And if you look at this, watch, watch, how, watch how far past the ball I drive this. Okay, well, let's see, that's not that good. Okay, so you can see the white is hard driven. And what's the difference? The difference is I drive forward past the ball and try to get my fingers horizontal to the ground. See that? My fingers are pointing forward here on the jumbo. Right? They're kind of pointed up. But this one, I want to get to the point where my fingers are forward and I'm driving my hand way forward. And this is how I do hard driven. Okay? Sorry. Hold on, I erased that. Yeah. Okay, so this is how I do a hard driven roll shot. So if you look at this one, this one definitely looks like a, a wave that breaks forward, right? Because it's going like this. Okay, so the hard driven, the wave breaks way forward. The jumbo, the high roll shot, deep breaks high, but it doesn't break so much forward. It breaks high. And if you look at where my impact point is on this hard driven, right, it's somewhere up in here. So it's like right around here. Okay, where I just drew that white line, right? So you can see the trajectory of that shot is different, right? The jumbo, my impact position was here, so you can see the trajectory is going to go high. This one, my contact point is closer to the top of my wave, so the ball is driving more horizontal instead of up, okay? 
But if you look at the beginning section of all of these waves, okay, if you look at this part of the wave, the beginning, right, they're all kind of the same, right? They just drive up. I just, in this area, in the blue circle, it's all the same. I drive my fingers up. What changes is, is as I get to impact, what I'm going to do after impact is what changes. If I'm going to hit the high, the high short one, I just drive straight, my fingers straight up to full extension. If I'm going to hit a jumble, my fingers are going to go drive forward a little bit, but they're going to stay high and drive high, right? And if I'm going to go hard driven, I'm going to go forward, right? So you can see the short shot, I go the highest and no forward at all. The deep jumble, I go high and a slightly forward. And the one that I'm doing hard driven, I'm just trying to drive forward with my fingers, okay? So that's the difference. So study this video, okay? Study this video. I'm gonna go them all, do them all again one more time. And then I want you to study this video multiple times and try to feel the difference. See the difference and try to like visualize yourself being able to hit all these shots, okay? Okay, here's the first one again, short roll shot, right? So here, we'll follow my hand. From there, to there, to there, to there, excuse me. Look how far past impact I get, right? But it's straight up. The path is straight up. So there's no, there's no forward breaking of the wave here, right? Okay? But if you notice, my fingers do go forward. See that? That helps me to kind of drive the ball forward and keep, keep the overspin going, okay? So it definitely goes up and like that, okay? So that's the short roll shot but you can see I go from I go to fully extended position at the top and if you look at my my arm at the top my arm is straight up my fingers are slightly forward full extension every shot I want full extension okay here's the jumbo so that red line represents where my arm finished on the short shot right so I'm gonna leave that just so you can reference okay here we go, jumbo. Okay. So you can see the difference, right, in the wave. The wave, it goes high, but it goes slightly forward. And if you look at my arm, right for the forward shot for the wave the high, excuse me the high roll shot to the deep part of the court you see how my arm is forward okay and that's the kind of finish i'm going to hold and it's really important when you're starting to do this you want to hold your finish every shot so you get into the habit of you know where your finish is determines where the ball is going to go, right? When you shoot basketball, everybody finishes and holds their finish when they shoot basketball. If you didn't hold your finish, this, you wouldn't be accurate, okay? So now let's clear this out. And you saw the, different, the two different lines there, right? So let's, let me draw this line so you can see the difference between this shot and the hard driven. Okay, now here's the hard driven. Okay, difference with hard driven, like I said, the starting position, my body's a little more rotated, my elbow's more back, my right elbow's more back right here. Okay, you see how that's more behind my body than the one where I'm hitting it short, okay? But other than that, watch this. So start here. Excuse me. Fingers are up, okay? 
I'm just going to drive my fingers up. There. See, I'm driving my fingers up. To there. 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 Okay? So the difference with the arm position now is look at where my arm is compared to the jumble, right? And look at the difference in the wave. The wave breaks forward. When I'm trying to hit the ball hard forward driven, my wave breaks forward, right? If I had the, um, when I had the, the jumble, it was more like this. That's it. And then when I had the real high shot, it's more just like this. actually goes up higher but it's like that okay so these are the three different waves the waves create the shot okay but as I said before this part of the wave is always has to be the same drive the fingers straight up to start your attack you have to start your attack by driving your fingers straight up and when you're down here when you're in this position You need your elbow down and your fingers pointed up. That's crucial because then you can drive your fingers up. If your elbow's not down, you're not going to be able to drive your fingers up. Okay? Because this is how it, the relationship is always the same. Okay? The relationship is always the same. When your fingers point up, your elbow will point the opposite direction. Okay? So if I'm going to drive my fingers up, see that? See how I get this relationship? Now my fingers point that. Oh, excuse me. Now my fingers point this way and my elbows down, right? So this is the only way I can start the attack. My fingers have to go up, my elbow has to stay down. If I drive my elbow any direction, I mess up my whole wave and I'm not going to be able to hit good shots. Consistently good shots like this, okay? So think about it, watch this video multiple times and you're going to learn a lot.